What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about five Galaxy smartphone tricks that they don't teach you in school by which I mean Samsung doesn't put in their tutorials or really anything that's on their web pages. A lot of these are things that are either hidden in the settings that you may not have found on your own or things that are in Samsung's various customization apps that don't come pre-installed on your Galaxy phone out of the box. We're going to get into that. Before we do, I do want to thank our sponsor and partner for today's video, which is Mobile X. Mobile X is a new type of wireless MVNO uh, with a really innovative approach. We wrote an article about them over on our website, samiguru.com. Basically, they use an AI algorithm to give you a trial service, and then the AI algorithm determines the perfect amount of data that you need to use every single month. So you get a 10-day trial, uh, and with our link on our website, you can get the 10-day trial and the SIM card sent to you for $4.88, and that will allow you to get that 10-day trial. It'll do all of its magic, find out exactly how much data you need, and you can get plans as low as $3.48 a month. The great thing about Mobile X is you don't have to use extra data that you don't really need. You're not paying for that extra data that you don't really need. And you can also customize your talk and text plan. So if you just want data and no talk and text, you can save some money as well. They run on Verizon, so they have the largest, most reliable network in the US. Blazing fast speeds, I've tested them here in the Phoenix area, they're great. Give them a try, I'll drop the link in the pinned comment description and also analysis of the overall algorithm on our website in the article if you guys want to check it out. So let's get right into my list. And that is the very first thing, which is manage notification categories. If you've watched my channel, you've probably seen this at some point, but a lot of you guys out there may be new, so I do wanna show this. It's one of the most important things that Samsung buries. And you go to advanced settings. All the way at the bottom, you will find manage notification categories for each app. And you'll notice that Manage Notification Categories for each app is turned off by default. You might think, well, it doesn't sound like it's very important for me personally, but here's the thing. If you want to customize your notification sounds for each app individually, which a lot of people do, they want different sounds for each app notification, that's the only way that you can actually do this. So once you do enable this option, if you scroll down to Applications and you find any given application, let's just find one like Discord, when you go into the notification settings, you'll now have this notification categories tab at the bottom. Tapping on here will now allow you to go into each different type of notification category, and you'll be able to tune the default sound that you want to use. Now, of course, some apps have specific sounds. You can change them, though, to any custom sound that you like. Now, you can do this for each category. It is a little tedious if you want to do it for every single app, but it does give you some control over your favorite apps. You can change all those sounds, and Samsung has now turned this option off by default, so you will need to enable it in those advanced settings for notifications if you want this option. Up next on my list is you can create a routine to turn cellular data on when your Wi-Fi is below one bar. If you're walking away from your office or your house and your Wi-Fi strength is slowly decreasing, you know sometimes it takes a while to switch to modal data naturally. Well, you can make a routine that makes this a little bit faster. Shout out to Larry, who's an avid watcher and reader at Sammy Guru. He came up with this routine, and I kind of stole the idea to put in this video, so I really appreciate him helping us out with some content for the channel. Appreciate it, Larry. Uh, if you go to Modes and Routines, and you tap on Routines, you can create this routine just by tapping on the plus sign. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to If, and then just search here for Wi-Fi. Go to Wi-Fi Strength, one bar or less, and then you're going to go to the Then condition, and then you're going to say mobile data is going to turn on. Now, when the routine ends, you can set your action to mobile data to return to the status before the routine ran. And then this is the routine that you want. When Wi-Fi shrinks one bar or less, mobile data on, set actions back to its default status. Now, you could also tune this to two bars or less or whatever your preference is. And of course, you can give it a custom icon you know, whatever you want for your various, you know, there's a lot of different icons to choose from. There's a Wi-Fi one right there. That's probably the most appropriate. Put that there, and then this could be active, and it'll make it a lot easier when you're walking away again from your home or your office to switch very quickly onto mobile data, which is usually a lot faster than the algorithm that Samsung uses to make that switch for you automatically. So pretty much the quality of life improvements, things that Samsung doesn't tell you that you can do with routines, 
that might help you out. The third thing is to add a shortcut to any setting you want. Now this does require a good lock application and it's actually one of the more useful good lock applications out there. It's Registar, which is also one that a lot of people don't know about. So if you go to good lock, which is Samsung's customization suite of applications for Galaxy phones and install Registar, which is right here, Registar allows you to do a lot of things, but one of the things that it allows you to do is it allows you to turn on an option to create a custom setting icon for any setting that's in the settings menu. So if you go in here, go to search options, go right here, allow creation of shortcuts, and then go back now into your setting. If I search any setting, so let's say I search for now bar or now brief, I can long press now on now brief and I can add this shortcut to my home screen. I can do this for any setting that I want. So let's say uh, install unknown apps. Maybe I turn this on or off frequently. I can add this to my home screen. Let's say I want unknown tracker alerts. I can add that to my home screen. Anything that you use constantly, you can add shortcuts to the home screen and they will appear right there. Registrar allows you to do this. Literally any setting you can think of inside the settings menu can now be created as a shortcut on your home screen. So if there are things that you use frequently, this is a very, very convenient option. Up next, take full control of your animations, the speed, the fluidity of those using HomeUp which is another good lock module, but it's actually, once you download and install it, you don't need to access this from good lock. It can be accessed directly from the home settings in one UI. Here is home up. You can download it there in good lock. Long press on your home screen. Once you install it, go to settings, scroll to the bottom and you'll see more customizations. This is actually going to open home up now once you've installed it. And now I'll show you right here where gesture settings are. You can tune everything about your gestures with this option called Home Gesture Animation Tuning. Now there are four preset options and then a simple tuning that allows you just to go from basically slow to faster. Those are nice, but there's this really awesome advanced tuning that lets you take control of literally everything about your animations, including icon movement, icon scale, icon tracking position, window transparency, wallpaper scale, home screen scale, blur, all that stuff. Now this is a little overwhelming, so I actually made a full video and we wrote a full guide on how to tune these to get the best experience. I'll drop a link to the written guide as well as the video below if you guys wanna check it out, because it is probably a 15 to 20 minute time investment. So just be sure you have a little time, but it's a lot of fun to play around with and it'll give you a really good experience. You guys can see the animations I'm using. These are custom tuned animations using HomeUp. The final one is also another app that started out as exclusively in GoodLock, but now it's actually its own thing. You can once again download it from within GoodLock, but you don't have to go in GoodLock to access it. It is Sound Assistant. So Sound Assistant allows you to do a number of things, but I'm gonna talk about a couple of things in particular that are big quality of life improvements. First of all, the volume step by default, when you press the volume up and down, it goes up or down 10 units. You can change this inside Sound Assistant to go from one unit all the way up to 10. I have mine set at five, but I also like two. Sometimes if you want really granular control, go ahead and go only two steps at a time. So you can do whatever works for you, but 10 is generally probably not the best option for most people. So I'd recommend adjusting that right there. A couple of other things you can do that I really enjoy. This is a new option they just added with a recent update is maintain media volume while using navigation. Now, if you're driving in your car and you're using Google Maps, you know sometimes Google Maps voice notifications will lower the volume on your music so it can play those notifications and guidance audio. If you turn this on, your music will not lower. It'll just play over top of that guidance audio, which is actually a much better experience and something that I really enjoyed using. So you might enjoy that as well if you're someone who is annoyed when your music gets turned down by Google Maps. Bonus ones, you can make your own volume panel colors. I use the beautiful Flex UI. You guys can see it and you saw it there when I turn on my volume settings. And you can also set individual app volumes to change the volume of the apps individually. So for instance, if you notice, like I do, that YouTube music tends to play music a little bit louder than some of your other music applications, you can go in here and you can choose YouTube music. And then once you add YouTube music, you can adjust the volume up or down so that it doesn't play quite as loudly and this is really nice because some apps do in fact play volume a little louder than others. Netflix, YouTube, there's definitely some differences in the audio playback for those video apps as well. Anyway, I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. 
These are some tips and tricks that you won't find on your standard Samsung tutorial, but ones that I think will give you a quality of life improvement and just make your Galaxy smartphone experience a lot better. If you guys enjoyed the video, check us out at samiguru.com. Check out the sponsor of today's video, MobileX. Get that AI trial for 10 days. Try it out. Speeds are impressive here in Phoenix. I really enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.